I want to revisit a topic that I've done a few times before, but it's about images and I just want to revisit it because people seem to be forgetting uh, what I tend to call the basics. And if you get this right, it's going to help you out massively with your WordPress websites, regardless of what page builder you're using, especially if you care about performance or just how things look on your site. Now, what I've got over here is an image. It's just a fantasy image. This is 2.6 megabytes. It's 1920 by 1080. Now, before you put that image into your WordPress media library, go to bulkresizephotos.com, bulkresizephotos, one word, dot com, and drop your images in here to convert them into a web piece. Look, bulk BG Fantasy, 2.6 megabytes. Let's open that up. And again, I've done this many, many times. I'm going to leave it as 100% size, uh, I, I, basically 1920 by 1080 web piece format. And you can go with 80 to 85. I'd say 85 if you want a bit more quality. 80 is actually okay as well. Let's just hit start. That's gone from 2.6 to 105 kilobytes. You can see it there. That is like what? Less than 5% of what it originally was. Now when we go over to our media library, and by the way, it has downloaded it as well. This video is not just about bulk resize photos. It's about getting your images right in your WordPress media library. Let's go over to our library, okay? I'm now gonna drop in that image uh, and we are got it there. Look, you can see it, look, 105 kilobytes, but I'm gonna add it in twice. Now, the reason I'm adding it in twice is because I'm gonna use that image as a background, like maybe as a hero banner. So I'm gonna just drop it in twice because I'm gonna have a version for the mobile and a version for the desktop as well. Now, the desktop version 1920 by 1080 I'm kind of fine with that I may decide later on actually that I don't need it to be that big so I might want to crop it but I'm going to come back onto that in a moment okay in fact what we'll do is let's just add in a third version just so I can show you what's going on here okay we've got three versions now right there's the original right now let's go to version number two which is BG fantasy hyphen one what if I don't need it to be that high or maybe I am going to use that image on my website somewhere. So it's not a hero banner. It's going to be like uh, maybe I've got two columns or two containers and it's in container or column number two. Whatever page builder or solution you're using, it does not need to be that big. You click edit image. You have the option to scale. If I know this image will never be more than 400 or yeah, 400 pixels wide, it does not need to be 1920. It's never going to grow. It will always be 400, okay? The chances are it might be smaller than that when you get to the mobile, but definitely won't be wider than 400. Fine. Go and hit the scale. This is set to be width times height. I now change that to be 400. It automatically converts the height to be 225. I hit scale. I hit the cross. And when I now go to my first image, it's 1920. My second image is now 400 by 225. And if I suddenly realize, oh, you know what? I've got that wrong. I didn't want to do that. It now needs to be 500 or a different size. Hit edit image. And over here, it says restore. You click restore and it puts it back to the 1920. Why am I telling you this? Imagine you've got this image in Photoshop. Maybe not Photoshop. You've got your image somewhere. And you've gone and cropped it already and now you've loaded in the cropped version or you've scaled it or whatever you've done and then you realize it's the wrong size but you haven't got the original you no longer have the 1920 you got that image from somewhere you can't remember where or you can't get the original source material now you are stuck with a 400 by 225 image and unless you use photoshop or something to upscale it and then you know that might create some artifacts or pixelations or blurriness creeping in you're going to be a bit stuck and this is why i keep saying to everyone get in the full resolution image i mean don't go for like 5000 by 5000 that's ridiculous but get the full scale in and then you can scale it to be what you want so that was image number 2 scaled but let's just go back to this one. Let's pretend that's your hero banner image. I hope this is making sense, by the way. This is your hero banner image. That's fine for a desktop and a laptop. But when you get to the mobile, this will get pulled up by the page speed score. Even though when you get to mobile, it looks okay. You know, it's already kind of cropped it. It looks okay. Behind the scenes, it is still a 1920 by 1080 image. 
So if we go to image number three over here, which is 1920 by 1080, here's what you need to do. You click edit image. Now I've already spoken about scaling, but this time we're gonna jump to the height, not the width, we're gonna jump to the height. Now you get to decide, well, if this image is only gonna be half the size of your mobile, okay, half the size of a portrait, it doesn't need to be 1080 high. You might go with 400 high or 350 high. I tend to say as a rule of thumb, I go with 700. Because if I then decide it's gonna be a full height on the mobile, 700 is more than enough. And what you then do is hit scale. After you've hit scale, hit the X. The reason I keep saying hit the X after scaling is because if you try to crop it, it jumps back to 1920. So if I now go into this image, look, it is 1244 by 700 pixels, right? It's, it's maintained it, but the width is too big. So I'm gonna hit edit image, and this time I'm gonna hit crop. And as soon as I've done that, I'm just gonna drag this just a little bit inwards. Don't worry how much you drag it, just a little bit. Because now down here, it says 1132 by 700. Let me put it back all the way. It's 1244, which is what it starts with. You move it inwards, and can you see that value there has changed? Now, I am going to change that, the width, to be about 500. 500 by 700, I find, is quite reasonable. You might want to go a little bit bigger. You might want to go with 600 by 800. So you scale it to be 800 in height, and then you change your width with the cropping functionality. Remember what I did? I scaled it. So you do that to 800, you close it, you go back in, you hit the crop, you move inwards, and then you put in your width. Now I've gone for 500. Now I'm just gonna pick this up because it will maintain the 500. And I go, right, when we're on the mobile, what do I wanna see? Do I wanna see mainly lots of dark? Do I wanna see lots of light? Or do I want a little bit in between? Do I want it to be something like that? Or maybe even, you know, something like that maybe. Maybe that's the look I wanna go for. So I still get this middle bit here. Uh, you can see that little peak. So let's go with maybe something like that. And then what you do is you hit crop at the top, top left. You hit that and then you hit save, right? And now when I go to my images, well, there's the uh, 1920 by 1080. There's the one that's 400 pixels in width. There's the one that is 500 by 699. So when you're using uh, many page builders, you get the option to have an image for the desktop, and then you also have a version of that image for the mobile as well. Let me show you very quickly with Elementor. Just create a section like this. Let's go to style, and we are gonna put in a background image. I'm gonna click over here, and I'm now gonna pick my big one, the 1920 by 1080. Let's insert that. And you know, I, I'm not overly fussed about the sizing over here, but I'll just quickly do it. We'll just put it as a uh, scroll like that. And we'll say center, center. In fact, we won't do center, center. We'll go with top center. And I'm gonna go to layout and just say, make this be a VH of 100. So it's the full width of the screen. The full width, sorry, it's the full height of the screen, okay? There it is. But when you now jump down to mobile mode using responsive mode down here, and by the way, you know, you will have versions of different functionality and features in different page builders. We jump to mobile mode. That is still using the desktop image. That's gonna hit you with page speed, okay, performance. Let's just make sure we're on the container, we go to style. Can you see here the image has got like this gray hash uh, etched graphical whatever pattern going across it. That means you can pick a different image. So now I click there and now I'm gonna go and pick the mobile image, let's insert that. That is now the mobile, did you see it change? It moved inwards. It's not like it was skewing it, it just moved in. And now I can decide, well, okay, how are we going to have this? So I might go with a uh, top left, for instance. Maybe we have it more over like that. Because I have my writing over there, or maybe I'll have it in the center. You can modify this to your heart's content. Let me hit update. Okay, let's now just view this. Uh, that is the mobile view. And when you jump to desktop, we still have the desktop wallpaper. The tablet is still going to show the desktop as well. But that is the, you can actually see the, the change. If you look carefully, you can see the movement, but that's not gonna create a cumulative layout shift or anything like that. And that is why I am very, very passionate about continuously going on about how in your media library, if you're like this image here, if that image is only ever gonna be used in a certain place and it's already set to 500 by 500, 
I don't need to create multiple versions of it. That one is absolutely fine. What if we decide that this image here, um, even after we've scaled it or cropped it or whatever, we want to pinch a, you know, kill off a little bit off on the left hand side. I could just go like that, hit crop, save. And that's now going to be my hero banner image because I've taken off a little bit on the left hand side. Um, and at any point when I go, ah, I made a mistake, I cropped off too much, I took off, like, maybe I've gone and done something like this, look, like that, right? Just crop that save, I've cut off the top. The top is gone, what am I going to do? Easy, edit image, restore the image, restore, boom, 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 we're back to where we were. You've not lost anything, you don't need to go and find the image from some other folder or repository or anything. So, these are my tips, I go on and on and on about this. Please take it on board. I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never brave, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win your life. Have no shame, there's no time. Feel the pain, let the grind. I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win in life. I never miss that fact. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the back.